Hey guys, it's your guy John coming at you with another Diablo Immortal video. This one is going to be about the Aspirates keys and what you should be doing with those, why those are gonna be impactful on your account. Uh, I will show you what I'm currently at on my account and we'll go through and I'm gonna open up everything and I'm gonna show you the key way to do this. I'm gonna show you what you get. I'm gonna tell you if it's gonna be worth it to save them all up like I did or if you should be spending these daily as you do get these from a lot of different areas and location in the game. So definitely stay tuned. Hopefully you will find this extremely informative and come back and make sure you are subscribed and like this video if you are enjoying the type of content that I'm making. Alright, so like I said, we are going to go ahead and talk about these keys. I will show you exactly what keys I'm talking about. We'll add them all up really quickly. And that way you have an idea of what we're going to begin with and what we're going to actually end with and hopefully get as a end result. Now, you will see currently that I have my keys in my inventory. I have pulled up my calculator. Let's go ahead and do some quick math. So I currently have 99 plus 99 plus 85 plus 96 keys. And what does that give me? That gives me 379 keys. We currently need approximately 377 keys to open all the chests that give us these lovely rewards down here that you will see of the sapphire of this garnet and of this barrel those are used to upgrade uh your horadrum i think is how you pronounce that i i'm, I'm not gonna lie i probably misspelled and butchered that all out of no out of nowhere but you will see here the legacy of Haradrim, and I was lucky enough and fortunate enough that I have collected all of these now, and I will have dedicated guides on all these, but man, these are gonna take a little bit of time to get to you. Uh, but you will see that I have them all, and they're kind of low level, and that's because I've been saving up these keys. As you see above me, I've been saving 379 keys for the purpose of this video. Now, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you that going in here, you will see that by coming to this location, in case you're curious, it's going to be here where it says the I, Ivan Fod Sanctum. This is where that is located. That's where your Horajum is located. You need to be doing this every single day. There is also a challenge quest in your codex. So if I get rid of a calculator here and I go to my codex, you will see that there is every single day and there is a reason to be doing this. Because if you come down here, you will see that you have a quest called the... Wow, John, there it is. Like I see the Haradrim. Man, I knew I, I knew I wasn't going too crazy. But let's click on it, it'll navigate you. It'll take you right here. You should be doing this every single day because by going in here, you will be traveling down the road and you will be going down and getting into a fight with NPCs as you travel to the chest location, which you will then unlock with those keys that I've shown you. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna traverse down the lane and we're gonna go ahead and show you that this is where you come into and actually apply all the resources that you've gotten. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here and uh, we're gonna go down this path and hopefully we're going to get more of these upgrade resources. Notice that these are getting a little high and a little costly at uh, 150 for the damage upgrade and I currently have one. And uh, you know, even our lesser ones here with the rank two need 30 and I can barely do that one. And potency honestly is not that important for me as a demon hunter. So that's not gonna be one I'm gonna focus on. But you will notice that as you go through here, we will be attacking certain mobs. So you'll see that Sanctum Depths is unlocked. Now notice after you've done this once, you will not have to do this again and it will not let you traverse this area again. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull up my handy dandy calculator because this guide is going to show you that exactly what you get every single day by doing this uh, as far as keys go so that way you can have an idea of what to stack up in each one so there's going to be a lot of math in this video stay tuned hopefully you're okay with the math and uh, it doesn't drive you too nuts so we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack all these enemies and by attacking these enemies they should drop keys for us uh, here and there eventually um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna math them out, show you how many you get. I'm also gonna show you a couple other places where you get keys every single day, uh, as long as you're, you're participating in them, and that way you have a good idea of what you actually have to work with in the game. All right, so I think that little haul is done there. So we've got one, two, let's go him, three and four. So go ahead and type in four here. So that'll be four, all right. Let's see how many more do we get as we progress through here. Keep in mind, I already know the number and how this works, but I want to make sure and show you guys a good visual representation of exactly what you will be doing every single day so you know what to expect and you have a good idea about the time frame that it takes to do this. 
Uh, obviously, as a demon hunter, my gameplay is going to be slightly different than yours, so it may not be the exact same amount of time but it's going to be the same exact concept of come down here and kill these enemies now wow i got a yellow this uh i usually don't get any yellows down here usually i get uh blues yes but never any really yellows interesting okay uh no i do not need you right now i need you to not invite me all right i really wish they would put in something in the game that would allow that not to happen because it's very embarrassing when i'm recording a video and uh, people are trying to invite me into content that i'm not really trying to do all right so let's keep pushing through here and yeah that was it that's all the keys we got we got four well all right well that's not too many you're not going to be getting too many of these every day then okay well noted noted so let's go ahead and let's do some quick subtraction here so right here this one's free then we have this one here which is going to be free again free 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 oh okay they're all free interesting i'm not sure why these are free ah it's because we have to open one and then get the other free one okay so that's the free one now we get one so let's go ahead and subtract one from the total here okay and then this one is two so let's go ahead and subtract two from this one okay so here we go sapphire i mean we're getting we're getting some of these resources that's cool and then now we have four keys to open this one so we don't have enough keys at this point and this is where you could potentially stop however there are other ways of getting keys uh, if you actually go into your shadows for example and you say you want to do the battlegrounds activities um where's the battlegrounds here we go the rewards for here is keys you can get 15 keys a day by doing three battlegrounds and fights that's definitely worth it so we'll put the counter back up to uh 15 we'll put that at 16 now because then you could do those three and get those okay so what we're trying to show you here is about what you should be getting every single day uh so we'll say 16 and then we'll say minus the four okay and now you see these quantities are getting higher and higher okay and that one was another four so go ahead and subtract that one or actually i think that was eight that one was eight puts us down to positive four every day okay so now we know we can get about positive four every day you also have the hilt trader which you can get five per day on uh so total uh at this point daily you can get anywhere between uh 20 to 25 a day of these keys and that's going to pretty much do it you can also get the uh depending on where you're at on the shadows you do have the bestiary uh i think not the bestiary sorry the um Oh, what's the blessing that we get here? That's what I'm looking for, that I'm trying to say that I can't pronounce for, for nothing here. Um, the Deidre's, uh, when you go to run your challenge riffs, it gives you an option for these. It talks about them. Uh, I am totally spacing it, guys. I apologize. I'll have to see if I can't pick it back up later on. But you get these boxes, right, that give you... Um, that can actually you can open four keys uh they come down here you can open them up and you get a few more keys so you can get those as well so it can put you up between 25 to 30 keys i think total for the day uh i think actually no i think not 30 i think it's 28 is the max you can get in a day uh which require a lot of saving if you are trying to open all these chests uh by saving up to the 377 which is what you need to open all of these because you will notice that we have a vault here when you go in there we can open those chests when we go into the next one we can open the next so on and so forth and you'll kind of see um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to throw up my the number of keys that we've already used here so we have eight plus four plus two right so we have eight plus four plus two plus one okay and then we're gonna go over here and this one was free so we use 15 keys on the first room so every day you can go positive at least five keys so you can eventually build up to the point where you can go into this next room and open up more chests now you'll notice that okay we have some enemies in here let's go ahead and kill them we i don't believe we get any bonus keys that drop from doing this so don't get too excited about this uh but you will see that when we come over here this one is now at 10 keys so let's go ahead and let's just add up all the keys that we were spending here and seeing if it's totally worth it for us so we did 10 keys okay now notice the amount that's coming out so now we have nine 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 and nine so we've got quite a bit of resources that, so this seemed to stack pretty good notice this one is now 12 so we'll say plus 12. okay so let's go ahead and add this one up and once again now we're up to 10 and 10 11 ish okay now this one is 14. 
like I said, we're gonna add all these up so that way you know the exact total and you know exactly what you're having to do to get invested as you go into each additional room. Now this will be 16. Now, once again, I'm just gonna keep pointing out here that you are seeing a number increase on each item coming out of this box. Now this one is 18. And that is what's really setting this apart as far as what's really worth it or not worth it. So total, you need 85 keys to open the first two rooms. So notice that room one is done, room two is now done. It took 85 keys to do this. Now we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next area and uh, open up uh, that one. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to the next room. Like you saw here, we have 85 that we have available and let's go ahead and take out these enemies in this next area. We have got some blues here. Maybe they'll drop a legendary for us while we're trying to do this video. That Wouldn't that be awfully swell of Blizzard to, uh, to include that? I don't think that's gonna be a thing. And as you can see here, that is definitely not a thing. How unfortunate. But what is a thing is the chest that we have located. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with these again. So now we are getting kind of pricey on these keys. We're at plus 20, okay. Go ahead and open that one. Now you will see that 18 have now dropped. Now we're getting some resources, guys. These are starting to add up pretty quickly. Now we got plus 22, okay. Now let's break that down. Go ahead and open that up. Beautiful. Uh, that one was 24. And you'll see the next one is 26. So they're going in inter intervals of two. Okay, interesting, good to know. Now we're at about 20 of each individually. That's a good amount in my opinion. So let's go with plus 26. Okay, so 177 keys is going to be required to get to a vault room. Oh, 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 I jumped the gun. We're a little short. Okay, 28, plus 28. I almost, I almost said the wrong number. 205, okay, 205 keys gets you to the third room and now we're up to like 26 sapphires that's a pretty good amount that's a lot of them to go uh but notice that we're only kind of increasing by like a couple of each value as we move up in these chests compared to the first couple where we got you know like onesie twosies so i think these are all kind of expanding and growing exponentially with the amount of keys that are being used so definitely keep that in the back of your head so 205 here now let's move over and go to the next area this will be for the fourth area and like i said i think you need 377 to get to the final room and open everything else you can't open these chests with platinum as well but i don't feel like that's going to be worth it i will do a video on the market very very soon where we talk about what is actually good buys what are bad buys in the market and kind of how you should really be looking at the market uh when you go in there to uh make some purchases because it's not cheap guys it's not cheap so don't waste your uh don't waste your resources okay so now we are in uh, the uh, what is this the fourth section one two three and fourth section here we're at 205 keys spent so far let's go open up this one here this is going to be for 30 wow these are getting really pricey so for 30 keys what does it get me tell me what he's won johnny uh okay we're at 27 so we're almost at we're, we're almost at a material per key individually of each resource. Okay, and let's see, are these starting to stack up pretty good now? Yeah, now we're up to 400 of these, 200. Now we're getting some good stacks of resources. Okay, now this one is going to be 32, so plus 32. Okay, 266 so far into this, uh, 32. And once again, oh, wow, okay, this so, <laughs> all right, this is interesting. So this is really cool. This looks like a bonus drop. Uh, this this math doesn't drop, like this doesn't add up. So we've now gotten an additional, like I'm gonna call it a crit box at this point or a bonus box, because now we've gotten a, a massive amount that just dropped. That was almost double what we should have had if the odds were staying the same. So that's kind of cool. Uh, interesting mechanic there. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of feels like a loot box, but you know what? I'm gonna take it because that's a lot of extra resources that I needed and these keys didn't actually cost me anything. I've just been saving them up. All right, so this is going to be plus 34 here for this one. So let's go ahead and add it there. Plus 34. So we're at 301 so far on the keys. Let's open this one up. All right. Now this is the normal, what we would expect. About 30 per per, which is about what we needed because we're getting about one per key. All right. So this one is 36. So we should see anywhere between 30 to 36 drop out of this individually uh so yeah 33 30 that's about part of the course it's about what it seems to be 
and now it's up to this last one which is going to be the very very last one which is going to be the remember at the very beginning of the video where we talked about 377 keys to open this this will be the last one and then what will happen is, is there will be a bonus box that will open down here so let's go ahead and look at this one now this should have once again a about 40 individually because we were spending 40 keys on this so let's go ahead and click on it and see what we get uh we got 30 ish that seems a little light that seems like we lost out a little bit here um but okay we'll, we'll take it for now i guess it'll all pretty much balance out in the end okay now this is the hidden chest that we knew about already so for 377 keys let's open this up what did this give us i saved all those up for what what did I say those up for? Um, okay, well, that was a waste of time. Uh, cool, I'm so excited I did this, but unfortunately this is kind of what I had heard was gonna be my reaction, and they were not wrong. Uh, I was hoping I was gonna get a bonus and maybe they just got a fluke. Uh, so we got, yeah, as you saw up the uh, top right there as it cycled through, we got a bonus of like three, four, six. Um, so it'd be like going back to the same, the first room and getting a couple of chests out of the first room for free on the very last chest. I feel like that's a rip. Blizzard, if you're watching this, why would you do this? Uh, if it's a hidden chest that someone disciplined themselves and did 100, they saved 377 keys, look above my head, why would you give them as a reward? Three of each material. That seems so stupid. I don't know why you would do this, but okay. Uh, so here's my hot take. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time trying to get 377. I would say getting over here, when we popped this one over here, which what we were at, like 300 or so, when we got that bonus one, that was worth it. That was pretty good. I mean, that one was as if we'd gotten like a 40 pop on a 20 key spin. That was pretty good. This one over here was worth it. These, these other ones, however, not worth it at all. Um, that was kind of a rip. And you'll see that we are completely done. Everything is opened up, even though it does show that there's still room in here, and I don't know why. Um, there's nothing here to open so weird i don't know why it's showing that there's a glitch no nope, not glitch blizzard is really not gonna give me any more okay whatever so now we'll put back over uh our 37 7 keys now let's go talk and show you what that got us in the bag here so if we come up here and we go to the shrine let's see what our overall amount and total of resources that we got uh so you'll notice up to the top here so 377 took me up to 765 on my whatever these stones are garnets i was at one before right so we have 764 of those that's a pretty good amount to where i can get probably some damage upgrades i could go around i could do some armor penetration i'm a demon hunter so those are amazing skills for me uh potency is going to be a waste of resources so i'm not going to worry about that one right now so yeah it looks like i'm going to focus on damage and armor pin that's going to be what i'm going to use those ones on okay so we got sapphires 595 so we actually got more of the garnets than we did sapphires i'm not sure if these are always weighted or if this is about if this is a balance me mechanism or if this is more of a um this is what you can get type of situation i'm not really sure uh but let's see here so sapphires are going to be 595 what am i going to spend those on i'm going to spend those on <laughs> looks like i can use those on armor pin Wow, so we got two armor penetrations? We do, we have two armor penetrations. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna be using both of those. I'll probably get both of those leveled up then. And uh, because it's super, like I said, super helpful for me as a uh, <laughs> demon hunter. And actually, no, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this one here. This is gonna be damage and life. This is gonna scale the highest for me. So I'm gonna probably just do armor pin yeah and then that life one i don't see any other one that's really like i said potency is not the greatest for me uh the resistance would be kind of nice uh, not gonna lie resistance is super helpful especially for pvp and for some dungeons but i'm gonna go ahead and pass on it for now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go full nuker that's that's kind of my mo uh and then the next ones we have here let's talk about is the barrel 719 i think i had 30 of those to begin with so we definitely got the most garnets out of everything and i'm okay with that but now we have these barrels which are going to be used for life which is going to be super impactful because i don't know if you're aware of this but you want to be stacking as much life or as much damage as you possibly can on everything um so the fact that we can upgrade our life on this and these are stagnant bonuses is huge so i'm going to definitely be spending those on the armor and the life 
is there anything else that i can spin these on uh resistance okay resistance is another really good one like we said before uh but i'm gonna prioritize probably getting my life up another couple of ranks here and then getting my armor up maybe one more as well just to kind of add a little bit more fluck to my buck here and make me a little bit more tanky because i am super squishy as a demon hunter but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the mathematical breakdown. Um, I, what I'll probably do is I will probably take all this data from this video, plug it into an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, I'll probably grab my good friend Veiled Shot and maybe Chosen, and we'll do a collab video where we talk about what is the most optimal route with these keys, and we'll break it down for you guys a bit by bit so you guys really know what is going to be the most efficient for you moving forward in Diablo Immortal uh, because this Horadrum is something that you can do every day and like you'll notice that I went ahead and did this so if I go to my codex which is not showing because I'm in this room so let's go ahead and pop out of the out of here um, no I don't want to read your tale let's go ahead and pop out of there and that way I can show you the codex because every day you'll be able to do this and you need to be doing this every single day to get those extra keys like I was saying so you can go net positive and now you can go into your codex and you can actually redeem this legacy of the Haradrums and uh and yeah that's that's what you want to do every single day you want to make sure you're getting this completed that way you get your battle points you get your different here and yeah bada bing bada boom so hope you guys enjoyed the video i will catch you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day peace